Hey guys, sorry that it's taken so long to get this episode out. Just a lot of crazy stuff has been going on. Be sure to like and subscribe. Today is the day I'm going to share with you guys my big secret, my big reveal. So without further delay, let's go and see what is in this room so you can see what I've been hiding from you guys for the past few weeks. All right, here we go. Snakes, well, reptiles in general, reptiles, amphibians, all kinds of creepy crawly creatures. When I was a little kid, my dad introduced me to these wonderful animals called reptiles. It has been a love and a passion of his entire life. Naturally, it became a big love of mine. Isn't this girl beautiful? This is a candy cane corn snake. Beautiful animal. This is definitely one of our favorite snakes. This is an Eastern Indigo and kind of one of the most sought after snakes. We do a lot of varieties of different animals. We have lizards, we have scorpions, we have tarantulas, turtles, snakes, frogs, all kinds of animals. We even raise a lot of their food to feed them so we don't have to pay for food all the time. This is always a crowd favorite. This is a Mexican black king snake. So we deal in a lot of different animals, uh, mainly snakes, but I do get into some other interesting reptiles here and there. And I'll definitely be showing you guys a lot more as we go on with this. I have tons of animals to show you, so I hope you're ready. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the reptile portion of this episode, and if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see all the other uploads, because I'm definitely going to keep exploring this topic. So Esteem Academy, where I am the music director of their theater program, they do the Lego robotics and everything, and they just redid their room. Check out how cool this is. I, it kind of makes me want to go back to school so I could do some of the Lego robotics stuff. So they got all their stuff up there, all those little Legos, everything's organized. All of this stuff is building blocks for them to have a good time building and learning about stuff. They've got all their robotic stuff over here. Uh, just all those little pieces. Kind of makes me wish I was a kid again. I really believe in this school, you know? I really believe in a STEAM Academy. They're very practical with what they teach, and it's all ages, and <laughs> you can hear drums upstairs. I, you know, I give some private lessons here too, and plus I teach the theater program, the music of the theater program, obviously. But you know, little kids have their own space, and it's, it's just a phenomenal program. So I'm gonna introduce you to the owner and operator one of these days and we'll sit down and do an interview so you can kind of see a little bit more about this program. How you doing? First day back, we're super excited. How you doing? Awesome. So we're hanging out here, day one, um, back in our theater arts, and you guys know I love boom whackers. Always so much fun, so we're gonna have some fun today for sure. I've met some great people through Four Reels and Esteem Academy, and here's one of them, Seth. There's something special about yours. When you Seth has a ton of originals and they're just beautiful, beautiful songs. I love this one a lot. It's one of my favorites of his actually. It's a love song and it's just got a beautiful melody and his vocals just fit so nicely on it. Then he asked if you wanted to dance 
You said yes, I thought you'd never ask. I love giving students the opportunity to record and do things that they wouldn't normally get to do. I pride myself in giving them the recording opportunity. I've been recording my entire musician life, but at this caliber, at this, you know, having a professional studio quality program and wonderful microphones and everything like that, it's, it's amazing that these kids and even adults get a chance to record stuff and do things that they normally wouldn't get without being charged, you know, $100 an hour in a local studio with an engineer who's kind of a jerk. So I love that I can give them this opportunity in this environment. I really enjoy teaching a lot of different styles. I spend time with adults, with people in their teens and their 20s, and I spend a lot of time with little kids too, so it's always a lot of fun. I'm about to start teaching a rookies class, which is the little kids here at School of Rock. Well, I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know why it's taken so long for this vlog to come out. I have uh, had a lot of different chores to do with all of the snakes and I have a couple of friends in town from Florida and I've been helping take care of all of their stuff and uh, the room is just a mess because they've been in town and uh, there are about 200 more snakes in this room now so it's taken me a little bit to be able to get everything done and everything set up and I have a lot of new animals that I've been trying to get together so I've had some responsibilities that have kept me from editing and everything but I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog so far so I was gonna make this joke about um, having this helicopter and coming out of the helicopter and telling you guys that yeah I just landed on my helicopter but the owner came back and he's starting to fly off so I can't make my joke for you guys but I can still show you the helicopter We are hanging out here at a 3.33 session. See you three. Yeah, 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 hanging out with Matt. Having a great time. So in all of the bands, 333, Trick Shot, and Rock Holiday, I spend a lot of time at Matt's doing a lot of recording. He's just a great friend and somebody who's awesome to be around. Hanging out here at Matt's, about to do some new Rock Holiday tunes. If you come to a 333 recording session, you better expect to be on a recording. And sometimes we have too much fun. Reptiles, music, teaching, all this stuff is wonderful. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button, you guys. It's really important that if you subscribe, then I have reasons to keep doing this and showing you some of the stuff that's upcoming. Speaking of, I want to tell you guys a little bit about what I do have coming up. And I've got some more dog stuff going on. And I have... <laughs> and I have a lot more reptiles. I'm going to take you kind of on a journey of what a typical week is like for me. And yeah, we're just going to have some fun with some stuff. I'm going to give you a little bit more uh, history about where my music journey started and stuff like that so yeah stay tuned and, and i'll see you soon and don't worry i have some videos right around the corner showing you guys way more reptiles and getting into some of the goods thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe as for me it's time to head in and do some Well, I have now shown you my reptiles and I showed you some of my snakes that I have. I'll get more into depth with that as this vlog goes on. I'm super excited to show you guys all the different colors and everything. But since I opened up to you guys about that, it's time to open up about one other thing. Politics. Welcome to the political vlog. Now here are my views on Trump. 